Welcome to Wednesday's edition of the Warrior Daily. I'm Cameron Weidenthaler, joined by head men's basketball coach David Greer. 1-1 one one this past week. Um, tough, heartbreaking loss against Michigan Tech, and then rebounded nicely with a 10-point win against Northern Michigan. Talk about your team's performance over uh, the last two games. Well, I thought defensively, I thought we took a step forward. Uh, we had some, uh, some pretty good defensive possessions there. Uh, Tech was a really tough game for us. They did a great job of uh, setting a lot of screens. Uh, they shoot the three ball really well. Uh, lost track of them a couple times in transition, which was really the difference in the game in the second half. I thought first half defense, we were outstanding, and uh, Tech is a good basketball team, and uh, disappointing loss. We talked about the defense last year getting to where you thought it could be. Really took it to another another level this past week, just around 50 points per game allowed for both contests, and you think it can get better. Well, I, I think our defense really could get a lot better. Uh, we haven't been able to extend it uh, and put a lot of pressure on the ball. Uh, we're getting to that point now where we can uh, extend our defense a little bit. Uh, we're not very big, so we're using our quickness a lot better. And, uh, you know, Northern shot a good uh, percentage the first half, but I thought the second half we did a great job of contesting their shots and uh, uh, really closed them out there. I don't know if that's what the rest of the GLIAC wants to hear, that you guys' defense could get even better from a fourth-ranked defense. Alternating wins and losses the past two weeks, do you think this team is, is capable and ready to reel off a few and, and hopefully improve their uh, postseason uh, chances here? I, I think we are. I think the most disappointing thing is when you uh, you know lose a hard-fought game at home. You know mm -hmm. those, hard, those home games are, are, are just must games that you have to uh, take care of. And uh, certainly we let a close one in Tech get away and uh, got a tough one against Fair State coming up here. but. We're certainly capable of reeling off uh, two or three in a row, but uh, in the same token, I think the league is such where you can lose two or three in a row real quick, uh, which we learned uh, early in the season. Busy six days coming up uh, for your program. Like you said, Ferris State tomorrow, Saturday at Grand Valley, and then Monday up uh, at Lake Superior, first place Laker team. Talk about that Ferris State team first. You know, Ferris is a good basketball team. They returned a lot of their uh, players from last year, really good uh, team from last year. Uh, you know, they lost their head coach and uh, Coach Stahl, who was coaching Northern Michigan on uh, on Saturday. Uh, mm -hmm. So, and assistant coach took over, and it's always a little tough when you move one chair over. I yeah. always tell our assistants that, that, you know, when you move one chair over, it's a little bit different, and it takes the guys a little bit of time to get acclimated to your coaching style, and now you're making all the tough decisions. So I'm sure they uh, have went through a little old growing pain. Mm -hmm. The Ferris is a very talented team. Uh, they got good size. They shoot the ball extremely well, and uh, they'll certainly put our defense up to the test. That Ferris State game you can watch on Comcast to get 900 throughout the state of Michigan and in some parts of Ohio. And then talk about uh, perhaps the t toughest stretch of games uh, this season, arguably, at Grand Valley um, and then at Lake Superior. Talk about those two teams. Well, those are two very good basketball teams and two particularly tough places to play and right. win. Uh, Grand Valley is very physical, very big. Uh, they do a great job of pounding the ball inside, but yet they can shoot the ball outside. Uh, they will play some zone and mix it up. And, uh, again, a very well-coached team. And uh, Lake Superior State, uh, you know, returning the majority of their team yeah. and a uh, team that got hot towards the end last year and has been playing lights out ever since. And they shoot the ball extremely well and they execute their offense. And uh, uh, they'll definitely give our defense a big challenge. Yeah, we'll see where we stand after this uh, tough three-game stretch. I'm sure it'll be a... A good, uh, a good time and exciting games. Thanks for the time, Coach. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for watching this edition of the Warrior Daily. We hope to see everybody inside the Mathai Center tomorrow night against Ferris State at 7.30 p.m. for men's basketball.